I'm Karen Maria and today I'll be making tofu pasta. It's a vegetarian meal. Now if you don't want to go the vegetarian route, you could just skip the tofu and maybe use chicken or some cubed ham. So really it's a meal for everyone. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is put water on to boil for your pasta. Now you can use any type of pasta that you want. I'm going to use a tricolor pasta. I'm using um, Wacky Mac uh, Veggie Spirals, and I want to show you how pretty this looks. Okay, in addition to being really pretty, it also has a lot of different flavors in it. There's a carrot, there's a beet flavor, and spinach, so it makes a really delicious pasta dish. Now I'm going to move on to preparing my tofu. You'll find tofu in your grocery store in the produce aisle and it comes in small boxes and then when you open up the box there's this bag inside with the tofu in it. So what exactly is tofu? Um, tofu is soy milk and it's been coagulated and then the curds are pressed into these blocks and it comes in all different varieties. I'm using a firm tofu, that's because I just like to work with firm tofu but I'll be putting all this information on my blog about all the different types of tofu. Now, I have already slipped this bag open and drained it because the tofu is always very wet. And what I usually do is I just take some paper towels and I kind of squeeze the tofu and get a lot of that liquid out of it. I use a different cutting board than I would normally use for when I chop my vegetables. And I'll put that information on my blog as well but I usually do my vegetables on a wooden cutting board and then I kind of reserve this one just for the tofu. Okay, that feels better. And now what I'm gonna do is just slice it into small pieces. So I'm now just gonna slice it again. I just stacked it up so I can cut it now into long strips. Now I just spread my tofu out over a cookie sheet and I'm going to pour some soy sauce on top of it. Now you could use a different type of liquid to marinate it if you want it to. I'm just using this because it's going to make it slightly salty. Now I'm going to place my tofu in my oven at 325 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Next, I'm going to move on to chopping up some vegetables that are going to go in with the tofu and the pasta. I'm going to start out with two scallions. Now, I love scallions. We call them green onions down here in the south. You just cut off the end and then you get to use the entire thing. And that's one of the reasons I love them. In addition to the green onions, you're going to use half a cucumber and you'll just want to peel the cucumber first. Then you'll want to use one full pepper. I decided to make this really colorful, so I'm using half of each of a yellow and a red pepper. Now I'm just gonna place all these colorful vegetables into a large bowl, and I'm just gonna add my cooked pasta. So I'm now just gonna toss all this up and the tofu is gonna go right in here and I'm gonna make a sauce that's gonna be my last step. Now I'm gonna move on to preparing the sauce which is going to go over my pasta tofu. Okay, I'm gonna start out by putting three tablespoons of mint jelly into a microwavable bowl. Now you could use any type of jelly you want. If you wanted this to have a little bit more kick to it, you could use a green pepper jelly um, the reason I'm going to microwave it is just because if your pasta isn't hot enough, sometimes it doesn't melt all the way. So I'm just going to microwave this for about 30 seconds. Now that it's been microwaved, I'm just going to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and a quarter cup of mayonnaise. And then I'm just going to mix this all together. Once it's all mixed up, you're going to have this pretty light green color. Now you could use any jelly, so if you used an apricot, it would be a light orange. Um, just make sure you pick a jelly that is going to go good on your vegetables that we've chosen. And I'm going to put pepper and salt in this to taste. 
And I am going to add about two teaspoons of crushed mint flakes, because I want mine to be really minty. I placed my tofu in a bowl just so it would be easier to put it into my um, pasta vegetable mixture. And this is the, really the last step, just to combine everything. So I'm gonna put in the tofu, and then next I'm going to pour the sauce over it. Now I just pour my sauce in, and I'm gonna stir this all up. The tofu does look a little brown, but that's just because of the soy sauce that cooked on it. It makes a really colorful presentation, and it's a great light summer meal. The more colorful the meal, the healthier it is. So this one's gonna be very healthy. All the ingredients will be up at the end of this video. So don't forget to read my blog and subscribe. And now I'm gonna go eat.